Okay, guys, here we are, Mr. Ballion here, Alexi Ballion. I'm going to set this up for my grade nines. Um, we went through the process of sketching or uh, being inspired by the world out there. We're making simple shapes and converting them from simple shapes to basic primitives into robots. Okay, and we may 3D print this down the road, which is what we want to do. So this is a, just a quick warm-up of uh, what I want to do. Uh, give you guys a little introduction of um, of Maya 2018, and this time around, I'm going to um, I'm not going to make a robot. I guess I'll do just a simple lesson in creating basic primitives on the screen. So okay, so let's start here. Let's go. Maya Autodesk 2018. I haven't updated uh, to the latest service pack. However, let's just see how well this goes. Okay, so we're in modeling mode and poly modeling to start off things I want you to remember is the move tool, rotate tool, and the scale tool. Move is W, rotate is E, R is scale, and then Q is for select. So here's a couple things. I want you guys to be comfortable in zooming in, zooming out, holding option and uh, middle scroll button uh, in and out. That'll work. Let me do this with a mouse instead of a stylus so I don't mess this up. Um, if you hold option and left click, you are orbiting around. If you hold Option and middle scroll button down, you're panning around. So it's important that you guys do this, get comfortable. Again, rotate uh, the environment. Orbiting is Option or Alt and left click, okay? And then if you hold the middle scroll button down, it's basically panning up and down, left, right, that kind of stuff, okay? All right, so let's do this back with my stylus. I'm gonna start off with a sphere. Okay, right off the bat, notice that there's a sphere in the middle. Now if I click on it with this selection tool, the Q, there's no tripod. Okay, so if I press W, here's our tripod. And then you need to be comfortable in terms of, you know, uh, spinning around, zooming in, panning, and so on. So notice that X, I'm selecting only the arrow on the X, and I'm not in the middle. And notice on the right here that the X is changing. If I go on the Y, Notice only the Y is changing, right? See? And then if I spin around and Z is towards us, okay, and away from us. All right, so you'll see these are the numbers. Now what's cool is if you keep everything at zero for now, you'll see, like to make a simple snowman, here's what we're going to do. We're going to press W for move. There it is. E for rotate. Cool. R for scale. So we're going to start with scale, and we're going to go right inside the scale, the, the cube inside, not the outside, because I don't want to squash it. This is what happens. If you only go out on the z-axis, see what you're doing? You're stretching. We don't want to do that. And the same thing on the x-axis. Look, we don't want to do that either. So what I just did, notice here, I went to 1.5. So I can even go 2. Okay, so there it is. Now, next command that you need to remember is duplicate. D for duplicate. Command D, duplicate. Check this out. There it is. Okay. Now, I duplicate it and I'm moving it only on the Y axis. Y axis. Okay. So there it is. Y axis up. And now, what if I reduce this to 1.5? What does it do, my friends? Press return and return is working. Okay. So there's 1.5. I don't know. That's maybe too small. Let's go to 1.8. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's 1.8, and I'm being really sticky with this, 1.75. Let's do that. So if you highlight one of these and scroll right over, you can actually make a change on all three axes. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go W again to get out of this, and I'm going to Command D one more time. Up, and there it is. Uh, of course, uh, I duplicate it, but I'm not seeing it until... I click on the arrow, there it is, right? So now, why don't we look at the 1.7 and change that to maybe 1.4, who knows? I'm making this stuff up, there it is, okay? So in terms of a snowman, that's pretty cool. Press W, bring that up, let's get the head more resolved. That's looking sweet to me. Now I'm gonna bring up a cylinder, okay? And again, we're just clicking these items, and if I go to four, you will see that it's there. Five is shaded view, and I'm just gonna bring that straight up. I'm gonna make a top hat here. Okay, and I'll leave that the way it is. And watch, I'm gonna make another cylinder, four for a wireframe, and I'll bring that up as well. This time, you'll see that there are two of them, right? So I'll press R for scale, and I'm gonna scale that out, and then set up, then I'm gonna bring it down on the Y. You will see why I'm doing this. W, bring that bad boy up, and then there it is. And I'm gonna go, ah, too thick, R, scale down a bit more and R from the middle now, that was Y, and now from the center, and I'll bring it out this way. 
Okay, so we've got that happening, W to leave it. Okay, so I'll bring a cone next, all right, just for a nose, and I'm going to keep this super, um, I hope I'm recording, guys. Uh, yeah, it's five minutes, so yeah, it's, it's, so here it is. I pressed on, let me press again, uh, cone. You can see something there, wireframe for, there's the cone, right? And then now I'm going to actually bring it out on the Z axis, which is towards me, five to shade, and I'm going to rotate this E. Here's the first time you're using the rotate tool. Again, just like the XYZ tripod, keep it to one axis for now. So this is the X. Notice how the X is changing because X down here is red. So anytime I rotate in the red, uh, and that's X, okay? Looking at this going, it's ginormous. So R for scale. Uh, let's extend it, and then in from the middle, bring it in. So that kind of works. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to press W for move and bring it down a touch. Okay. So you guys can do this. You can bring in eyes next. You know what I'm talking about. So look, I can even take this ball sphere. Command D. And I'm just repeating the same, the same commands over and over. So you get used to it and it'll become second nature. So there is, there it is. I made that super uh, small W on the, on the Z, which is blue and I'll bring it over here I'm spinning around guys and then you know holding option remember one hand on the keyboard and the other hand is on your mouse obviously okay so that's looking pretty sweet let me duplicate that command D and goes to the other side okay so here we go so far so good now if I want to do maybe a Taurus which is a donut let's see what the donut will do Ooh, that looks pretty good let me press R and, and kind of like squash that down a touch. Okay, and now we're just going to have, that's not bad actually. <laughs> okay, so we brought a torus in. So look again, look, if I move the Z out here and then zero that out, look what happens. I said return, goes right back. Isn't that sweet? That is sweet. So now I'm going to show you guys something different. Now I'm going to rotate this hat. Okay, I'm going to press E. As I said to you guys, only on one axis. I see the blue axis here, which is Z. And I'm going to rotate watching here. And let's say we leave it at maybe 20. 20, and maybe that's too much. Let's make that 15. 1, 5. Okay, come on, give it to me. Why didn't it go? Yeah, it did, 1, 5. So I'm looking at this. Okay, how about this guy here, 1, 5. Let's see, can we go like that? Yep, 1, 5. And I'm going to press W for move. Now watch what we'll do here. We'll slide that down a bit, hide the top of the head. So already this is looking a lot better. Okay, so let me just stay in shaded view, wireframe, so we can see all this. Okay, look, this is looking pretty sweet. As a, as a first step for you guys in grade 9, the idea is for you to get creative and um, add whatever pieces you want. You can have buttons up here. You can have sticks coming out. Watch this. You can do the, um, watch here. I can take this cylinder, okay, and you can see the poly cylinder here. The radius is 1. What if I went to 0.25? What does that do? Ooh, look at that. It makes it even thinner. Uh, what if I went to point 0.1, even thinner? Okay, so you can see now I took a radi uh, a cylinder and I went to its hood under the hood and trying to get its dimensions. Height is two. Okay, so radius point 0.1. What if I rotate that? Press E. Okay, which is here and W and oh yeah, I did this earlier with my other class. That's why it's it's on the object. Normally, you guys here we go. Watch this. Let me command Z that for a second. Okay, so look at this. Uh, right now, let's say I rotate it, E, and there's E, and I want to press W. Look at W. W is in the world axis right now. It's only moving up and down, right, left, according to X, Y, in the space that we're in. We're in the world space. But if I double-click on Move here and change it from world to object, watch how cool this is, and close that. And you will see now it's in the direction the axis is in the direction of the object, okay? So look at this, E, W, goes up, over, and I'll bring it in like that. And you're going, okay, so why is he doing this? Because the next piece, I'm about to, I'm going to duplicate this in a second. Let me just rotate that, W, you'll see. So if I press Command D again, and move, like, look, it stays on the axis, which is awesome. I'm going to pretend like this is another twig. And I'm going to rotate it a touch, make it kind of like silly, and, you know, maybe down like that. Who knows what I'm doing here. I didn't even sketch out what I wanted to do. So this is kind of like, you know, trying to make things work. Take that one, rotate a touch, and, you know, W, 
up and we'll bring this one in over a bit and you can see where I'm going with this I'm gonna let you guys do the rest okay and um, and the way I got the wireframe right here shading wireframe off shading wireframe on I love to see the topology here I don't want to use language that you guys are not familiar with so just say you know the line work topology look how nice that is okay and you guys feel free to add whatever else you want remember I can duplicate that again command D move it down R for scale I can make that thinner okay and I'm gonna break that down again and I'm gonna start making fingers out of this okay E rotate that kind of thing R okay W and then move it any way I want here you go okay so what's really cool about this if you zoom in right now you'll see I can command D again the idea is like not start from the beginning guys just take things you've made and you know move them around resize them scale them look R I'm gonna bring it in there you go and I'll make another you know like there you go like I've got the first one happening so the next lesson maybe I'll show you guys how to put some color on this and so on okay we're gonna build this up step by step and it's been somewhat uh, yeah 11 minutes thank you very much bellion out okay see ya